Hey, this is Morgan with DVN Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to be looking at one of these Echo Wall Clocks. I actually don't know much about these. Uh, they've been out for a little while, and in my opinion, it was kind of a quiet release. I mean, you started seeing them shown in a few videos. In the first couple of videos that I saw, I was really curious what they were talking about in the shot um, until I stumbled across it online. They're sub $30, I believe. It lets you see uh you know different times and things like that if you have timers set or anything um it lets it helps you keep track of all that as well as of course as just keeping time so um this is morgan with Dave and tech if you want to see more videos like this please like and subscribe to the channel but we're going to dig right on into this so this echo wall clock like i said a device for like i said less than thirty dollars if i remember correctly <clears throat> As far as a clock, it functions normally, but it has LEDs around the edges of it here um, that lets it sync with your Amazon home control systems and provides some extra information into you know what your timers are at, how much longer you still have on your timers and is even capable of displaying multiple timers. It had mixed reviews on Amazon, um, being their own product that's not very common, but for the price, I wanted to go ahead and pick one up and see what it was all about. So, you know, as far as build goes, there's really nothing, no downfall in my opinion. I mean, the, the arms like it showed on the picture there don't, don't move the arms, don't force the arms. I'm sure that it's pretty sensitive to that, but so are most clocks. There is no face over it to protect those arms, but again, that's not totally uncommon either. Plastic seems pretty durable. Um, you know, again, nothing really out of place in my opinion. It doesn't look like it's just extremely cheaply made or anything, but we'll... Uh, We'll hook it up here and see what we can do. I'm not sure. I'll probably have a setup video on it. I was just going to kind of show you what was in the box and everything. And I'll probably have a setup video on this device. And uh, show you actually what it looks like when it's running. But should be able to just pop all this stuff out of these boxes. It's like it comes with dry roll screws, batteries, and everything. So that's nice that they do provide you with all the necessary things to make it run I'm not sure it almost looks like a speaker grill there I don't know that this has a speaker in it but again I'm just I'm looking at it for the first time as well and uh, I have to say that kinda looks like you know it may make a low battery beeping noise possibly or or something through through that there because that's uncommon to see that hole pattern like that underneath one of the batteries so but if it was something like a speaker grill it might possibly be let's put that all back together so there was a blue button on the back here let's open up the quick start guide and see don't touch the arms again they get pretty mad about that Install the batteries. And then it says you should be able to just say that. Well, I may set this up in the same video if it's that easy. So let's go ahead and give that a try. I'm going to press the button. Maybe that's a microphone. I don't know. Okay. Alexa, set up my Echo wall clock. Okay, press and hold the pairing button on the back of your Echo wall clock for up to 10 seconds until the light on the clock's face pulse is orange. Pairing may take up to a minute and the light will turn blue once paired. You can also pair or unpair your clock in the Alexa app under the Bluetooth settings of your Echo device. Okay, so it's pulsing orange like she said. 
She said give it some time. Your echo wall clock is paired. The light will pulse blue for a few minutes as your clock is set to the same time as your echo device. The hands will start and stop several times during this process. Huh. Once the time is set, try setting a timer or ask, what can echo wall clock do? Well, funny enough, that time was pretty close. That is pretty neat. Okay, so once it gets done, it says that the light may just go solid blue, possibly. So we'll see here. It's about to stop. No. Must be some sort of alignment sync. It goes to that because it's definitely not that time right now. It's still syncing. Oh, it says and updating software. Okay. I'm going to set it down here just for a second while it does whatever it does. Move some of this other stuff out of the way. Let's see. And there is just one single drywall screw in here. So that's all you need, though. So on the rest of it, it says that it looks like it'll let you know if you have a notification. If the battery is low, this LED will also give you some statuses. If an error occurred, if it blinks red three times, so. We will uh, come back once it's done and has its time and everything set. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when you set a timer on it, so. Okay, so the time on it is about set. It's going to have to go just a little bit farther here, but it should be done syncing time with my devices. Um, as you can see, it looks like it's still making some minute adjustments, and the light is still flashing. I'm not sure if it's doing, you know, a final software update, but it did stop on the correct time. This took quite a while. Uh, it went around probably three times and stopped with both arms up at 12. Um, I don't know, three times during the whole process, probably. So I'm not exactly sure what it was doing there, but it has settled on the right time, though that the, the light is still blinking. Um, I guess I'm going to give it a little bit longer and see if that light stops blinking, because um, she said that it should stop blinking once it was done with all of that and then I could set timers so well I'm guessing that's what that was there that's telling you that it's done so I'm gonna go ahead and try to set a timer Alexa set a timer for one minute one minute starting now okay and so there it is counting down quickly in seconds I'm not quite sure how to help you with that no problem. So it's going to go ahead and count down. And let's see what it does once it counts all the way down. I'm not sure if it does some sort of flash or anything. Um, I am going to go ahead and set one more timer while we're waiting on this. And it does something a little bit different with the lights when you had a second timer. So Alexa, set a second timer for five minutes. Second timer, five minutes, starting now. I think it'll just put a, yeah. So it makes a one line right here brighter. I don't know if you can see that, but that one line there is brighter. So this one's getting ready to count down. Timer's getting ready to go off in five seconds. So all the lights pulsate. Alexa, 
stop. Well, I have to say that works pretty well. So, and, and this one here, obviously, it's going to uh, turn this light off next. Go to this one, and this one will now be the bright light telling you that you have four minutes left. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see what it looks like if you add one that's past um, that even a little bit farther there. So, Alexa, set a timer for an hour and a half. Second timer. One hour and 30 minutes, starting now. One hour and 30 minutes. So, I honestly can't tell you what that's telling me there. As far as, far as I'm concerned, I think that it's just telling you it's, it's over an hour. So, you know, anytime you look at that, uh, you would know that there is at least an hour left on it because it can't wrap around there's no I don't think these provide any other additional colors it's just brightness level and uh, and position on that so once this timer goes away and this one gets below an hour you'll see that bright light count all the way down around just like this one is now um, around that and again it's gonna do the 60 second fast countdown the last minute of it and will flash to let you know it's done so I have to say that's uh, that's pretty cool it did take some time to set up as far as letting it do its thing it was it was easy to do press put the batteries in press the button on the back and uh, she talked me through everything I'm sure you could slightly hear her in the background um, but she talked me through everything that we needed to do to get it set up and then you just let it do its thing and come back and uh, when all of the lights are off it's done and there's no timer set and it's ready for you to to use so like I said, I'll have a link in the description to this. If you're interested in one of these, I have to say it's pretty cool. Uh, it, it sounds like it connects via Bluetooth, so it'll have to be within probably 30-ish feet of one of your Echo devices that's compatible with Bluetooth, which I think they all are, except, no, I think even the input is. So I think that they all would work with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it seems... Seems pretty neat and adds a little bit more functionality to your smart home system. So there's a link in the description. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. This is Morgan with Devon Tech. We'll see you again in the next video.